My name is Tsukasa. I'm an ordinary 25-year-old businessman. One day, I was on my way to work. Are you okay, sir? Ugh. I found a delirious man on the side of the street. It was hot out, so I thought maybe he was having a heat stroke. So I immediately approached him. Your face is red and your body is hot, but you aren't sweating at all. It might be a heat stroke. I'll call you an ambulance. No, don't call an ambulance. Do you mind grabbing me a water? That should help. Uh, yes, sir. I'll go buy one right away. This guy doesn't seem like an ordinary pedestrian. Maybe he's a Yakuza. But I'm already in too deep. Plus, he seems really sick. Here, put these under your armpits. My armpits? My grandmother taught me that there are big veins under your arms, and it helps cool them down when you're having a heat stroke. Yeah? Sounds like a great grandmother. Yeah, I love her. After a while. The dizziness is gone. Thank you, son. I think I can walk now. Are you sure? I can walk you back. Yikes! I can't actually walk this person back to his house? You must have an idea of what kind of person I am by now. You're a kind boy. Don't worry about it. I'll have my gang pick me up. I knew it. He just said gang. This was my first encounter with a Yakuza member. I was hoping that I wouldn't get caught up in anything. But my prayers weren't heard. When I got home that day, there were a bunch of Yakuza there. With a cute looking girl. Thanks for helping our boss this morning. This is for you. Uh, no, you shouldn't have. I knew I shouldn't accept this. I don't know why, but I know I shouldn't. And how did they find me? This is so scary. Young man, Mr. Yamame, should I say. I'm not here just to give you a gift. This morning, you realized who I was, but you didn't run away and you took care of me. That takes real kindness and courage. So I'd like someone like you to marry my daughter. Huh? Hey, boss is asking you a question. Huh? Uh, yes, sir. Very well. Then it's decided. Huh? No, that yes, sir wasn't a confirmation. Hey, don't worry about it. You won't be recruited into the Yakuza. Um, well... I've always wanted my daughter to marry an ordinary man. She couldn't choose her parents, but I can tell that you'll be a good husband. He doesn't hear me. Well, she is gorgeous. Only if she wasn't connected to the Yakuza. Um, I can't promise to marry your daughter, sir. I mean, we just met for the first time. I need to see if I can make her really happy. I'd like to start off as friends, if that's okay with you, sir. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that as well. You really are a good man. I like you even more. I guess it's up to you two from here on. I thought we were on the same page, but... Well, you guys work it out then. I'll leave her here starting today. What? And the team left without her. He had no intentions to hear me out in the first place. My father has been searching for someone who he could trust me with, but he couldn't find anyone. But suddenly, today, he chose you, Mr. Yamane. I was surprised when I heard, but now I know why. You seem like a really great person. And this is how I started living with the Yakuza boss's daughter. At first, I was worried, but she was just an ordinary girl. She does all the housework, and we get along fine. Sometimes she would tear up as she told me scary things that she had seen growing up. She came from a violent household, but she had a kind heart. She had a lot of pain bottled up inside. She seemed relieved to be able to live with me. And I didn't want to have her go back there. When I was thinking about marrying her, I consulted my grandmother. She was the only one who I told the whole story to. You're a wonderful girl. I can tell that your parents love you. My grandmother helped me introduce my girlfriend to my parents as an old family friend. And we were able to have a wedding without any problems. Thank you so much. I'm sorry you had to lie for me. Don't worry about it. I didn't lie about anything. I'll send the video from today's wedding to your father. Huh? Oh, 
there you are. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Tsukasa? Huh? I feel so lucky to be able to marry you. Today's story was about a boy who saved a Yakuza boss and ended up marrying his daughter. The father was kind of pushy, but I'm really happy that their marriage worked out. It is kind of scary how they were waiting for him when he came home, though. How was today's video? Please come back tomorrow for more. See you. Bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.